life is the oldest technology on earth and all of the foods that you eat at home are unnatural, they do not occur in nature, they are products of this huge experiment in what is effectively biotechnology, it is the technology of biological organisms. They're all biotechnological things. If you look at the precursor of uh, corn in the wild, it just looks like regular grass. There's, I mean, there aren't even any corns or cobs. It's, it, the corn effectively doesn't exist in the wild. Same goes for wheat. There isn't even wheat in the wild. Wheat is an amalgam of three different species invented in the Fertile Crescent way back when. They managed to mash together three loosely related species and came up with wheat, and there you go. You know. Next thing you know, it's the foundation of, again, Western civilization. So, and these are the kind of things that I like playing with. You know, I, everyone likes bioluminescent trees. You know, don't, don't pump energy into street lamps. You've got these lovely trees that just light up at night time. Um, you know, yeast or yogurts that create antibiotics. So again, coming back to people like in Afghanistan, Africa, whatever, how are they going to get their medicines if we aren't even willing to give it to them, let alone refrigerate it on the way there? What if they had like a little suitcase full of different cultures? Okay, I need rifampicin. Take that culture, brew up some beer, drink it. You want to culture bacteria, you can use something as simple as potato, dextrose, agar, which is potato, dextrose, and agar. You can get them all in a local shop. Um, you can purify DNA using um, Sorry, using rubbing alcohol, dishwashing detergent, and a bit of salt. And I actually did that up at, um, up at uh, what is it, minefields up in Dublin. And people, people loved it. And I was just doing it for the laugh. I was like, all right, so after giving the talk on DIY bio or whatever, got a lackluster response. And the last day, I'm like, what will I do? Before I pack everything up, I'm going to extract DNA from a banana, just because I hadn't done it before. And people loved it. You know, I mean, the, the, the people love seeing these things. DNA looks like snot, by the way. So we do it. Nowadays, like I said, you design online. You, you don't go looking for the organism. You look up its genome online, they're all freely available. You go, okay, the insulin, human insulin, great. There's the sequence of that. Paste it into some online tools which will convert it into a different dialect for, we'll say, Bacillus upless, this lovely bacteria I like. And then go on to a website like I used, um, when I ordered DNA, I used a company called uh, Epoch Life Sciences. And just pay them money. And the DNA gets sent to 